Right, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up and install WooCommerce on the Tesseract theme. WooCommerce, as you may already know, is an e-commerce system that helps you sell products and um, stuff like that, whether it's digital or stuff you have to want to ship out to people. Really amazing. They put a lot of love and effort into this and we integrated WooCommerce into uh, Tesseract, whether it's the designer or the free Tesseract theme for you. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set it up um, and install it on your test rack theme. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is log into your WordPress area and you want to make sure that you have the latest version of the Tesseract theme or the Tesseract designer. Right here is the Tesseract free theme I have installed and I'm going to show you how to now install the WooCommerce and all you have to do now is just go to plugins and click on add new. So go ahead and do that now. Go to plugins, add new if you haven't already done so. And I already typed this out, but it's WooCommerce and you're going to search for it right here. So once you go to plugins, add new, you're going to go to the keyword terms and search for WooCommerce. Now you're just going to click on this where it looks like WooCommerce right here. Make sure it's that one and not any other one. And you're going to click install now. So let's let that install. And once it's done installing, you're going to click on activate. And click on that again. I don't know why they didn't do it. There it is. Now it's activating. All right. So now you have it active. And WooCommerce did something really special lately. And they have this run the setup wizard. This will help make sure that your WooCommerce is set up correctly and they install all the pages. WooCommerce automatically creates pages for you. And that's the shop page and checkout pages and stuff. And that will automatically um, install once you click on this run the setup wizard. So do that right now. And I'm going to guide you through this. So it's going to take you to something that looks like this. And it's really simple. Click on let's go. And you're going to go ahead and click on continue. So it's telling you that it's going to create a shop page, a cart page, a checkout page, and a my account page for you within WooCommerce. These are the pages that they're automatically creating for you. So I'm going to click on continue here and it's going to take you to the next thing and then choose your state whichever state uh, you're in i'm in california so i'm going to choose that if you're shipping goods and stuff do you want to do it in kilograms pounds ounces whatever and inches centimeters you know this will help know how big your items are and stuff like that if you are shipping physical items um, and then click continue Next is the taxes. Are you going to be using taxes within your pro uh, products? Um, and so just click on these. It really just depends on what you're doing. And then this is where the fun happens. You could choose PayPal or Stripe. And I typically use PayPal. And you could set PayPal up to like a PayPal standard. If you have that, consult PayPal, set it up properly within PayPal, connect it to your bank account, whatnot. This is not a PayPal tutorial, uh, but PayPal is the easiest. Um, you could also create a Stripe account if you want to um, do that as well. You are set up with PayPal standard um, and you want to accept payments using the account balance or credit card, which is really cool. Then go ahead and do that and put your email. This is just a sample right here. It's not really mine. Um, so go in and configure whether it's PayPal or Stripe um, before you go into the next one. So press continue now and it's going to take you to this page where your store is now already set up. So it did all the programming for you and um, and then now you could create your first product. So let me create that first product with you by clicking on this link right here and I'm going to help you uh, create a product. So product name, I'm just going to put new product. And this is where your description goes right here. These are guides. It's going to kind of guide you along the path. So you actually don't need me to guide you in this video. You could actually just go through this whole thing um, and it will take you through all this stuff. But I'm just going to guide you quickly on here. So here's 
sample text that you're going to put for your main text of what your product description is. So I'm just going to actually just repeat that right there. There you go. <laughs> and I'm going to put the short description down here as well. Um, so there's always a big long description and a short description. This is your regular price. Like if you want, you know, your price to be $50. And then if you have a sales price that's $40, it will cross out the regular price, letting people know that you do have a sale. Right here, if it's downloadable, that's really important. And then it's going to ask you, do you um, have files that you're going to give people if you're giving them like a digital file, for example, and do you have a limit or not a limit? So this is the download area right here. If you want to add a file, um, you could click here and you could put in the URL or choose a file from your computer and put it there. If it's not a downloadable file or virtual, then you're just going to keep that blank. If you have inventory, and stuff you want to go through this you want to put in your SKU number so you could keep track of your inventory so you may want to create a SKU for each of your items it's really good and you can manage your inventory so you could say you know what after let's say you only have five items in your warehouse house whatever you have and you're shipping them out you don't want to oversell and say oops I just sold out you want to make sure that you could deliver on your promises so you want to put the exact quantity that you do have in stock right here and you could always go back and if you get more in stock and then go back to the products and edit this again and change it and stuff so that's really important that you do that um, and then do you allow back orders or not it's in stock or out of stock um, and, and that's how that works and then shipping you want to tell people what the weight what the height is and all that stuff um i'm going to go into more of this like cross selling and upselling this is if you have other products and you want to cross sell when they're checking out it's almost like when you're in a, a line at a store and you say do you want this too you know and that's really good and you would just enter the first three characters of another product that you already added for an upsell or cross sell really cool stuff I'm not going to get into these. These are more advanced features that you could add, um, but you know, pretty self-explanatory right here. Purchase notes if you want to give them notes and stuff. Note that you know we ship, you know, blah 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 days or whatever it takes. You could say that there. All right, so put in that short description, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure go up to here, here at the top before you add some images, and you want to make sure that all this is visible public okay is it draft right now okay and then catalog visibility this is interesting if you want this to be a featured product like on the designer theme like we have a designer theme and you want it to be on the home page we have a, a whole layout then you want to click on featured product so that it comes on certain pages certain themes like the designer theme that we sell have it so you could feature products on a home page and only these specific feature products will show up that you check marked right here feature products we have other video, video tutorials about this but i just wanted to point that out um, because that's a common question there so make sure this is public that you could people could see that as well now i'm going to go ahead and grab a product image there's two sections right here product image and product gallery if you want to show a gallery which is really great um, if you have different um, angles of a uh, product that you took a bunch of pictures for that's really cool the more product nicer images the more likely it's going to sell and i'm talking from personal experience get a really nice lighting uh, you don't have to have too nice of a camera just the lighting and um, really nice pictures you could just use an iphone and android and stuff honestly but really good lighting helps um, so product image um, I added an image here, but let's go ahead and let me show you how to upload it by just clicking uploads right here, clicking select file, and you could actually just grab a bunch of images if you wanted to and have these just upload to your WordPress uh, media area. So I'm just going to let that upload right now and I'm going to set that. There you go. So that's the product image. It only selects one, the one that it was checkmarked. So if I check mark this one or this one, that's the one that will come right here. Now, if you want a gallery, this is really cool because you could check 
different ones by just holding down like a command or shift key depends on your keyboard you got to just kind of play with it and you could select multiple or you could do one at a time and just now add another one by clicking that and one at a time add another one so there you go i added five plus this one up on the top and this could be the same as one of these as well it's good to have multiple so there you go um, that's how you basically add a product click on publish and now that you added the product you could actually see this product live by clicking this link right here so click on that link here there you go that's amazing that product comes up and you could even t click the magnifying glass and you could view all these product your products in that you added down here so if you want to just click through this this is a sample text and this is your description that you wrote that's the big description and this is your other small uh, little description right there now what if you wanted to see all your products and you want to go to a product shop page so now I'm going to show you how to set up or look or find that shop page on your website before I do I just want to note a couple things notice I put the SKU notice I also added the 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 fifty dollars and it has the sale price here so that's really super cool um, the other thing I want to kind of go over later on is the coloring you could change this color and you could change like this color as well to have it match your site and I'm going to show you how to do that and customize in a little bit so what you want to do now is you want to go back here in your WordPress go back here in your WordPress and click and I just want to make sure you're on the same page so go down to uh, settings here in WordPress and click on permalinks we're gonna make sure your URL strings are are matching what it should be to get the best um, stuff so this will show the product right here the one I like the best is shop based that's what I recommend clicking on so that means that it'll be your com forward slash shop forward slash the product that is the best way to do this um, to showcase your shop page so I'm going to show you that shop page with all the products on it and the best way is to change it to this right here in your permalink so make sure to do that right there and press save okay once you do that now if you go up in the top and you go to your domain name now I have a I have another folder so ignore that you'll probably go your domain forward slash shop but I added a different folder I installed it in WordPress and in a different folder if that makes sense to you and you just go forward slash shop so your domain name forward slash shop and your products will appear here now I only put one product but that product will appear here so um, just so I could fill up all this I'm going to go ahead and import some sample products right now and um, I can, I'm gonna give this uh, XML to anybody who wants it I'm, I'm gonna put a link somewhere on our site but let me go ahead and import some um, sample products right here by just going to tools import you don't have to know how to do this but I just want to show you what it looks like with a lot of products I'm gonna go down here to WordPress I'm gonna click install and if you wanted to import a bunch of sample products you sure could um, just to see what your site looks like with a bunch of products so what I did is I went to import again if you wanted to do this um, you could skip this if you don't want to do this and I um, clicked on link down here WordPress uh, run importer and now I could import like pages and um, products and stuff by clicking this so this is right this little button allows me to import XML files so I'm gonna go down to where I have my XML file um, somewhere on here let me find it first here it is I found it it's called dummy data XML and if anybody wants that I'm gonna uh, put a link somewhere on on our website if they want to import some sample dummy data just so it, it looks like your website populated with data once you do that it's gonna ask you if you um, want to be the owner of this I'm going to download the imported images make sure you click on that so it downloads the images that come with this import 
okay you'll know it'll be 100 percent clear once i import this you'll, you'll be like wow you could import a bunch of data and you could have an instant site so it helps really explain things well um, after you get some products and i didn't want to take too much time of making 20 products in front of you so let this import so i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done importing so it's done importing right here i also see a little thing that says i have to set up shipping we'll do that later but let's go in and go to products and I'm going to go check out and see if all my products imported. Remember, I only added one product for, at first and now I have all these other products that, that got auto imported and stuff, which is really, really cool. So this is just a dummy data that WordPress gives us with their shirts and whatnot. So now I could go back to the forward slash shop page and if yeah and if i did this correctly now you see all this uh dummy data come up and it's just sample data that comes up and you could go ahead and check out add to cart and go through the whole checkout process like just like that so really cool um but now i'm going to show you how to make changes to the colors and stuff like that of WooCommerce so this is really important if you want if your site's not blue and you want you don't want blue buttons you want pink purple black whatever you want you could totally revamp this and make it look more like you so let me show you how to do that now so I'm gonna go ahead and click on customize up here and I'm also probably want you want your shop up here so you could add that to the menus as well you could just go to menus let me just add that really quickly to my menu and go to shop there you go press publish there you go now people could go to my shop when I refresh that though the menu will come up as shop anyways so I'm back here now what I want to do is click on WooCommerce layout options so I'm going to do that so this says hey do you want 12 products per page for the product page so this is 12 basically products or do you want um you know six products on this page on the specific page there you go there's six and i see a little two blanks right there so maybe eight if you want to fill in those blanks we had it at default at 12 but it really is up to you how many products you want per page you could also set this and we did a lot of work just making sure that you could customize every single thing on here so this is really really cool so really go through here this and customize it to the best that you want to make it look more like your style so you could set this to like three columns with a sidebar we even make it so you could have a sidebar there or just three columns if you want this to be bigger with three columns and the reason why we did the products per page is because we want to give you the option to set this at three columns and say you know what i want to add one more item so that's not blank right there so it fills in those gaps right there so that's cool um and then there's all these other ones that um i'm not going to go through every single thing but go through these things and it's pretty obvious that what it does it's just all the colors throughout this whole thing so you could set the sales price for example to uh, red if you wanted to and you could have the sales tag uh, color that the text color be another color right here i like white so i'm going to keep it that that way um and you could add the cart in your upper right hand corner which is right there and this will drop down and it'll tell what's in your cart which is really cool so that's really up to you if you have another button there you may just not want that there but that's totally up to you and um and then everything else is pretty self-explanatory you could change the position of this uh, of right here if you want that in the center or left um and uh and so on and so forth button size and oh this rounded corner i got to show you this so <laughs> so if, if it's 20 it will round it a little bit more see how that's more round and this one if i set it at zero it's more of like kind of squared off so what if you did want it round then you all you had to do is set it there and uh let's see where is my other stuff all right so the add to cart button you may want to look into if you want to change it to i just changed it to black i think it was like blue or something like that 
before by default and if you want to change it to black or green or purple or whatever you could do that notice how dramatic that site looks now um, and these black complement these black so it really depends on your site layout your pictures and everything else like that but you could really make this um, really really amazing um, if you just start playing with it and stuff and when you're done press save and publish and you're all set you know and I see that came up right there that shop so when I come back to my home page my my, uh, my website and I could I can now navigate to the shop right here and it's the three columns and I can click on these things and you'll notice that the black will go out throughout and um, it looks really beautiful the thing is you want to set up your shipping zones and everything else like that and if you go back into WooCommerce you could click on set up shipping zones so it knows it meaning WordPress, uh, Word, WooCommerce knows where you're shipping from so you could click on add a zone and it's based on your zip code basically so uh, I would definitely uh, go in here and add your zone wherever you're from you could put your city there and it will you could put the region uh, that you're from there and then you could add like a shipping methods here and stuff whether it's flat rate free shipping local pickup and stuff and there's other uh, there's other extent a uh, plugin sorry that like a UPS plugin or FedEx plugins that you could add into WordPress that will know if it's shipping so people could get a confirmation that their items being shipped and they could track their order I'm not gonna get into that in this video because that's a long long video there but there's a lot of other plugins that you could buy online that tracks your shipping depending on if you are shipping it with uh, UPS USPS or DHL or whatever it is but this makes it really simple to let people know uh, based on your zip code in your region of how much it costs and you could um, set up your shipping uh, here so just by going to like shipping options and setting up like the prices and stuff like that so what I just did is I just created name of the zones coming from my house for example added what uh, region United States and you could type in here if you go United States you can go there United Kingdom wherever you're from and I added the flat rate so if like you just click on shipping me method you could go free shipping local pickup or flat rate and you could just do that for the flat rate and click on this and get your flat rate let's just say your flat rate is uh, $25 save changes and there you go you're all set up pretty much for that then you could go into your shipping options if you're interested in this and you could uh, choose the settings that you need for this do all these settings you may want to go through all these settings one more time just to double check in WooCommerce you just go to settings click here and you could go through all these tabs just to double verify that all this is proper the way you want it set up so you just go to settings and then just go through each of these tabs and just make sure that it looks like something that you know that you would want for your checkout and everything else like that mind you there's also other little things within this as well so if you go to products you will see other little tabs here uh, display inventory downloaded products and stuff like that which we already kind of set up but if you want to go back edit these things edit to check out um, if you want to add coupon codes and stuff you could do that as well so um, so that's really good adding coupon codes you just go to coupons by the way and you could add some coupon codes there so make sure that when you're down here that this is check mark it doesn't say enabled so I'm gonna go ahead and click on PayPal again and this click on this this is enabled so you could have like PayPal stripe you could have a bunch of stuff enabled so the, the, the customer can have an option when they check out then you just put in your email here and once you do that they could uh, this is a PayPal email it will connect your PayPal to the checkout which is really really cool
if you have a business account, then this you will use this stuff, the API username and stuff like that. And PayPal can help you walk you through that. And a business account's great because you could take cards online. You could take your credit cards online as opposed to it uh, taking you to or taking the user to a different page to pay on the PayPal page, which is really good. People trust that and it's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and credit, press save. I just added my PayPal account. I just added my PayPal email and yeah. So the next thing I wanted to get into was like the emails. Here is a list of things that uh, the WooCommerce sets up for you with emails and, and it, where it comes from. So let's just say that's your email, it's a sample email. Um, and then you could configure these emails by clicking this button, configure right here. And you could configure the heading of the email if you wanted to. And if you're really, really slick, you could go into your template you may want to grab a coder or something like that so you don't mess it up and you could change the content of that email but um, woocommerce makes it really nice it's a real standardized like you know like you just got a new order in um or the order has been canceled or um, if it goes to the customer it will tell you you just got refunded and uh, later on if you wanted to you could actually go into the code down here it tells you and change up the the style of of that um so you could view this template right here this is all the code but you would have to go into your server and you have to make these changes but i would not just go in here if you don't know php and stuff and make those changes i wouldn't do it just yet it's actually set up just properly for you so that's it that's basically how to set up woocommerce and go back in the video if you have any other questions you could stop it rewind it um, press pause and I did it right in front of you. There's no real magic tricks to this. Um, I'm going to click view cart and uh, proceed to checkout. And you could see that because I have the PayPal all set up that um, I could go ahead and proceed the checkout right there. So uh, let us know if you have any questions on that. I hope this video helps. And I know it's a little long, but I think it's going to be very, very valuable for you to set up a nice WooCommerce for your website so you could start selling things online.